Today, I'm going to share with you a few of the leading pituitary gland tumor symptoms, as well as how someone may be able to prevent this whole problem from happening to begin with. Now, before I get started, down below, I am giving away a free video-based guide all about shopping for dietary supplements and, and alternative medicines. Now, I, I like to think of the human body as this one big, giant factory assembly line, right? Then you have, at first it starts with the CEO, and that is the brain. Then you have all the managers telling other people what to do, and those would be the hormones, and lastly you have the workers. Now the pituitary gland is responsible for creating and training many of these hormones. They're like the managers that tell other people what to do. It's a tiny gland about the size of a pea at the very uh, lower part of the brain. Now, a tumor really is a swelling in a part of the body. Usually, it's without inflammation. It's caused by an abnormal growth of cells and tissues. And what causes this whole abnormal growth of cells really still puzzles many of the smartest people out there in the health field. But, like most health problems, genetics just may play a role. And what this means is, well, if a pituitary gland tumors run in your family, it may increase the chance of you getting it because you inherit your genetics from your family and that's how there's a connection. Now since hormones manage a wide variety of bodily functions, the symptoms of course could be could be a lot of different symptoms. Now one of the most common indicators of something that's wrong in the human body, what do you think one of the, the, the most common symptoms is going to be? Something wrong going on. Yeah, there might be some pain, right? Discomfort. Used to, so, frequent headaches could be a sign of this problem. Another common sign, according to the National Cancer Institution, is peripheral vision loss. This means that someone loses the ability to see out of the corners of their, their vision, the sides. Also, one of the hormones uh, that this gland produces has to do with body hair. Uh, so, if you notice yourself losing body hair, facial hair, this could be a sign of this problem. Uh, women could have less frequent menstrual periods or, or lack of milk coming up from their, their whole chest chest area. Uh, a reduced libido could be another sign for both guys and, and, and women. Nausea, fatigue, problems in the bedroom. Of course, the only way to truly know is to see a medical professional and get some exams and some tests done, right? So if you think for a second you may have a problem, then why not just get some tests done? At least give you some peace of mind. Now here's the thing. If a tumor is an abnormal growth of cells, do you know what other scary disease can be caused by ab abnormal cell growth? Yeah, cancer. A silent uh, assassin that can strike anybody at any time, cause a whole bunch of destruction. And can cancer happens when cells growth is unstable. And there has been some evidence linking cancer with a lack of vitamin D. According to the National Cancer uh, Institute, vitamin D has been found to slow or prevent the development of cancer, encourage uh, cancer cell death, and, and even reduce tumor blood vessel formation. So if this vitamin can do this with, with, uh, with cancer tumors, then perhaps it can help with a pituitary gland tumor. There's also additional vitamins and nutrients that also play a role in the health of cells, such as classic vitamin B. So ensuring you're getting all these vitamins and minerals in your body through a quality multivitamin can be a great, great idea and can, really, can help someone prevent their chance of getting this whole problem. Now, if you want to get some more ideas on preventive health and how to avoid health problems and some alternative medicine when it comes to treating some ailments or whatnot. Like I mentioned, I did create this whole video guide about dietary supplements and it also goes over herbs, alternative medicine. It's a ton of fun. I'm sure you're going to love it. It gives you great tips on shopping for these products. It goes over things like simple things you can do to build up your immune system and to give yourself a detox. It's a ton of, a lot of great information. And uh, I highly encourage you to click on the link below this video. Check it out. It's completely free. So why not go learn a lot of nifty, great interesting stuff. Anyways, I um, hope this video might have been helpful. Please leave a comment with any thoughts you may have on this topic. And uh, if you like the video, I, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. So thank you so much and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.